Hey, Phil here, and I'm from the AquascapeGuide.com. Guess what? F-Zone sent us their new solo light to test out. Pretty cool, huh? We thought we'd take you along for the unboxing of the light, setting up its very easy phone app. We'll even test the PAR using the awesome Photone app. And then we'll get the light on the tank and dial in its PAR and PER. So without further ado, let's start unboxing this guy. So it comes in this cute little box. And on the back, it shows an energy rating. Well, that looks promising. And it says something about using 25 kilowatts. Well, I'm hoping this little thing packs a punch. And just like their bright light, there's a little manual on how to download the app and set everything up. I remember it being relatively easy to get into. And the installation feels really close to the ONF Flat Nano light we reviewed a while back. Oh man, I'm getting excited here. So look at this, it's really slim. Well, that's awesome. And the bottom of the light has a little textured diffuser on it, kind of like the, the bright light. It feels like it's made out of a really lightweight aluminum. So it won't break the glass on my little nano tank. <laughs> and it looks like this part just screws onto the light's arm. Well, that's pretty simple. And that's it. <sighs> well, that was a kind of non to do, I guess. What else we got in this box? A standard US plug. And this guy just kind of plugs in here. And whoa, we lost something small. Looks like a little screw. This probably belongs to the aquarium mount. Where's that little guy? Ah, here he is. Yeah, see, it must go in here. Where's a little Allen wrench that goes, ah, yeah. And we'll just screw it back in so we don't lose it. And then the whole light just slides right into the mount and the mount attaches to the tank. Well, super simple. Definitely loving how easy this is and how low profile it is. We're looking at you, Fluval. <laughs> Sorry, Fluval. I'm always picking on your big old nano light. I swear I love your canisters, okay? <laughs> so let's uh, plug this thing in and get the app downloaded again. Now I'm on Android, so I'll jump over to the Play Store and just type in F Zone. What we'll end up seeing is the My F Zone app with their cute little blue character on it. Kind of reminds me of another little cute character we all know and love. So we'll get this thing installed and open it up. I'll use my login credentials from the last time we did the review on the bright light. But if you don't have credentials, you'll just have to create an account first. And I just wanted to note that I have dark mode set on my phone settings. Normally it's a white background and much easier to read. But once in, I'll click devices down at the bottom middle, and then we'll click the plus up at the top right. And then the phone asked me if I was allowed to connect to other devices, so we'll allow that. And then we'll see a little solo icon pop up. So if I click that, we're connected. See, that wasn't bad at all. Oh, dope. It's already updating to the newest firmware. That's cool how it auto updates. All right, let's get to testing PAR on this bad boy. I'm curious to see what it's pushing. What I did was click the all open button on the left and cranked it up to 11. <laughs> I mean, or 100%. And then I'll switch over to the Photone app and grab my super expensive measuring tape. Don't tell the wifey I jacked her tape measure. <laughs> and I'm gonna measure out 12 inches. That's kind of the standard we use in the hobby when measuring par. Alrighty, then I'll grab the photo. Holy moly! This thing's pushing like 200 par at 12 inches? That's insane! This little thing's packing a punch, man. I mean, I was not expecting that. So let's do this. I'll toss in the settings that I use for all lights and we'll retest the par. So what I like to do is max out the, oh, wait a minute. This is full WRGB? How many LEDs does it have? Looks like six rows of three. So 18 LEDs altogether, just for the reds? What about the others? I know sometimes manufacturers will chintz out on the other colors. So you'll get like three reds and then a bunch of blue LEDs. But yeah, 18 LEDs, same for the blue, same for the white. That's awesome. That'll give us a lot of control over the spectrum. What was I doing? Oh yeah, okay. I'll max out the white and red and we'll put the green around 50% and then the blue way down to like 10, 15%. I do this with all my lights to max out plant growth. Let's see what par we're getting now. So we're rocking about 150 par. That's pretty dang good. Okay, let's get this kit on the tank and get it all dialed in. So I'll toss the mount on the nano tank and tighten it down. For those of you that haven't seen this tank yet, this is a six gallon F-Zone Nano with their resin rock inside. We're really enjoying this scape as it was really easy to put together. But also, I wanna note that I fixed the camera's exposure and white balance so we can see the difference on the AI Prime's brightness and color spectrum versus the F-Zone's solo light. Now all we have to do is drop the light in its bracket 
and adjust it as high as it'll go. I like when my kitchen cabinets hide the light from view when you're standing. And then the friggin' AI Prime app wasn't working, so we'll just unplug that kid. <laughs> well, guess what? I didn't have that problem with F-Zone's light, did I? Funny how that works. So let's jump into the app and I'll crank it all the way up and we'll test the par at the substrate. So we're looking at about, yeah, 188 par, somewhere around there. But let's toss in my settings on the light. My goal is always to have around 120 par at the substrate, so we may need to turn it down a bit. But if you'd like to learn more about the settings I use and why I use them, there's an article on our website called Dialing in Your Programmable LED Aquarium Light, which has all of the settings and scientific articles on why I set my lights the way I do. So let's turn the white and red down by about 25%, and then we'll half the value of that for the green, and then just kind of pull a little bit of blue in. Oh, 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 shoot my mug, okay. Uh, okay, then I got the baller on a budget diffuser on my phone, <laughs> and let's retest the par. At the substrate, we're getting around 90 par. So we gotta turn it up a smidge. And there you go, look at that, 120 par at the substrate. And this is what it's looking like after I got the AI Prime removed. I love how low profile and slim it is. I really wanted to toss it on the back of the tank, but the tank was kind of stuck to the counter, so I'll do that later. Oh man, how embarrassing. I need to clean up those lily pipes on the ASG canister. Sheesh. Sorry about that, you guys. Nothing worse than a couple dirty pipes, that's for sure. Hey, you know what? I found some cool features in the app that I wanted to share. So let's jump over to that real quick. If you open up your tank and then hit this little down arrow on the light, there are two features that we can use. The temp on button is just that. We can turn our lights on for five, 10, or 15 minutes, and even have full control over the spectrum if needed. Then when you get everything dialed in, you just hit the little enable button at the bottom. It makes it really easy for feeding or if you just wanna show off your tank for a few minutes. Additionally, we have this little power button that just kind of turns the light on and off. Again, more ways to view the tank quickly. Now let's say you want to disable the temp on a little early. We can go back into those settings and hit the little disable button down at the bottom left and the light turns back off. Just a couple features that make it really easy to view the tank. Now I thought this one was really fun because I could share my settings with you guys. But if you go into the light and hit this teeny information icon at the upper right, you get these options to import and export. Pretty cool, huh? So if you hit this export option, it saves out a QR code into your phone's photo gallery. And if you just wanna import someone else's settings, you click on that little import button and then you scan their QR code. So what I did is I saved my settings out for you guys so you can import all the work I've done in this video. Go ahead, pause the video, scan that bad boy. Okay, let me give you some final thoughts on the F-Zone Solo Light. So at the time of filming, this light was around $80 on Amazon. Just 80 bucks for a light that outputs 200 par, is Bluetooth controlled, and has a fully adjustable spectrum with the same number of LEDs for each color. That's insane. There's nothing on the market like this right now. I mean, an ONF Flat Nano Plus is almost $160. If I remember correctly, the par is high as well. It is Bluetooth controlled, but it only has white LEDs and the spectrum's not adjustable. Chihiro's made a nano light that's close to 100 bucks, but it's the same thing as ONF. It does have higher par, it is Bluetooth controlled, but only white LEDs and no spectrum control. And then there is something like the Twinstar C series. Its par is not comparable at maxing out at around 120, 130, and it's also not Bluetooth controlled, and we can't adjust the spectrum. All signs are pointing to this thing being very unique. So who's this light good for? I would say everyone. I would highly recommend getting this light if you have a smaller tank. It's the only light I know of on the market right now that has high par values, fully Bluetooth controlled, and WRGB control, and beats the price for value on all the other comparable lights on the market. So I am totally not getting paid to say this, but this is why I love F-Zone so much. You get so much bang for your buck. This light is great for CO2 and non-CO2 injected tanks as the EPAR puts out about 195 and it's fully adjustable. So if you're not running CO2, just make sure you don't go over 85 par and you should be okay. But 10 out of 10, we'd highly suggest this light all day, every day. Okay, that's it for this video. And if you're watching right now, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. We have tons of viewers who are unsubscribed and that would really help us out. And guess what? We'll see you in the next video. I gotta go clean out those lily pipes. Sheesh. Later, scapers.